Hey, I promise y'all, I'm not gonna start every one of these like, like I'm about to start an album. Like I'm about to drop 16 bars. But man, I, so from the last painting, I thought maybe I'd start out with something just a cool blue background with a little violet. You know, try to rock it out. Say, hey man, let me drop this compliment in. Maybe make it a pop out. Go with something a little bit smooth to make it laid back. Was gonna paint these goggles in, but it got a little jack. Thought about quitting somewhere around the middle, but I was like, nah. I'ma share this video, hoping that it might help out y'all. So, go in with a bunch of different brushes. At some point, I felt like I was doing maybe a little bit of Russian. <laughs> All right, let me start with my fake rapping. So, yeah, please do. You know, hopefully throughout this process, you see that you know doing these paintings, it's like 90% decision making, and you can't rush the process. And if there's anything, I mean, I'm, I'm unsatisfied about about how the goggles came out. But I think the reality is though is that no matter how dissatisfied you are with you know the you know your work and what you're doing that you got to remember that you know each each piece of art you make is a stepping stone so i'm just going in here with different brushes and you know at some point my my go-to save of the day is not going to be my black uh, acrylic paint but once i once i saw those goggles start to go astray I was thinking to myself man is there some way I could save it but what, what happened was is that after I started doing the painting yeah I kind of I kind of slapped some colors around a bit too fast and you know really in my mind at least jacked up the placement of the goggles and I think that kind of threw me for a loop but you know I still I still saved it going back in hitting some line work some thick to thin uh, you know, playing with some some shapes, and and most of these paintings really are about just you know interesting shapes, trying to create a little bit of a asymmetry, dynamic movement. But you know, going back in with them heavy lines is really just you know one of those like sort of insecurity things. Like man, if when, when something go bad, I'm I'm gonna grab this black paint and I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> and then I went back in, I grabbed some of my uh, my watercolor again, and I touched up some areas and. That is, that's actually one of the benefits of, of using the acrylic instead of using the uh, any other medium is that if you ever decide you need to go back and paint into it you know the acrylic will save the day so um, and then of course one of those one of the staples and and again I want to encourage you artists out there especially the ones that, that maybe don't do very much painting or or illustration reflected light you know bounce some reflected light in there it, it helps give a little bit more volume a little more form and it helps to give pop to the color you already have on there so that's what that the little blue light was under the lips and the eyes and under the little scarf or bandana whatever you want to call it and i like this little outside line it's it's a separation line you know i learned that a long time ago when i had this uh this design class uh for entertainment design where you add these little uh, borders to separate pop things these little colors on the outside to pop and separate it's an illustration thing so i mean, hope you all enjoyed this video hope you get something out of it and y'all continue to tune in to this youtube channel i'm gonna add more videos more process less nonsense I hope you have a great day.